Fail. Okay. Obstetrics patient. Okay. Having contractions for the last 30 minutes. Okay. You guys are on the scene. This is my wife. Started having contractions about 30 minutes ago. All right. This is the first. I think baby. this is it. Okay. We already got blankets on. She's her, her first baby. Uh. Uh, this is her first baby, but okay. she's been pregnant twice before. Okay. Okay. Live births? Uh, no, her miscarriages. Okay, so she's driving it too. Okay. Um. Okay. What else you guys want to ask her? Um, Remember, she's, she's still far, your patient. How far apart are the contractions? Okay, they're about every five minutes. They last about a minute, minute and a half each time. Okay. The last 30 minutes. Has she had any um, prenatal care? Yes. Vitamin. Yes. She's been with the doctor. She's been talking to the doctor. Okay. All right. They, they said that they're expecting some complications with the delivery. I don't know what. Are the water broken already? The water has broken. Yeah. What color? Uh, I, I didn't. I didn't notice. Okay. Um, what else do you guys want to assess? Um, Our vital signs. Okay. Vital signs. Can you take the blood pressure? Okay, we're getting a blood pressure. All right. All right. Manually do it. Yeah, do it manually. Yeah, take the blood pressure. Oh, baby's coming. Okay. Baby's coming, guys. What do we notice? All right. All right. Okay, what's that indicative of? Get a random pressure on the blood. Indicative guys. Okay. So when the baby's coming out, we're giving pressure on the head, right? To avoid that explosive birth. Your bone syringe is up there. So baby's coming. Such in the mouth first. Such in the mouth. I got it. Keep pushing, man. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Hold your head still. Keep pushing. Right. Almost there. The baby comes out. We're going to support it. Watch out for the umbilical cord. Okay. okay. All right. Baby's come out. What do we want to do now, guys? Um, get I'm going to stay. Okay, get the APGAR. Okay, what else can we be doing? we got a lot of guys here. We got How high do we want to keep the baby? At the, at keep the level, level, right? We don't want that blood pooling back in. Like, we don't have a blood clamps. pressure yet. Okay. Can you get a blood pressure? All right, let's focus on the baby now. Okay. What can we do for the baby? We need to clean the baby. Well, first we need to what about this thing here? Cord. Okay, where are we clamping at? At least, at least two inches away from here. Seven and ten. Let's see. Okay, what's your book say? Four fingers from the baby. Right? right. Two inches, four inches. All right. Cut in between. Alright. Alright. Clamp the clamp over here. So we do that. We clamp. We cut. Both the cords off. Alright. We dry off the baby. Get the baby warm. What about mom now? She's pushing for the afterbirth. Yeah, okay. Okay. The sensor is going to come out. Alright. What else are we watching for? What do we notice over there, guys? Hemorrhage. Okay, hemorrhage, right? Yeah. What do we. Alright. And then afterwards, placenta is going placenta to come out. Is coming out. All right, placenta is delivered. What do we do now? So if she's still know. hemorrhaging, um, put pressure on the. Um, We're doing the fundus. Yeah, the fundus. Right? Okay. What do we do with the fundus? Massage. All right, massage. Circular motion. Lower abdomen, grapefruit size mass. Go ahead. Circular motion. All right. That's going to stimulate the uterus to stop contracting or we stop that bleeding. All right? What else can we do to stop the, the contractions with the baby? How can the baby help mom now? Oh, oh, she, oh, oh the look at her shoulder. Start breastfeeding. Okay. So we bring the baby up to mom. All right? By breastfeeding, we just lay her down. We actually have to do it. <laughs> All right. We lay him down. By that breastfeeding, that's stimulating. The hormones be released to stop the contraction. All right, and the labor to stop. 
Uh, okay, it's normal, up to 500 milliliters of blood loss. Anything over that, severe hemorrhaging. All right, what do we do for that? What can we do for that in the field? Okay, yeah, we're, we're on the way to the hospital, obviously. What else can we do? Okay, lay some gauze over. Do we pack inside? No. Never, right? Okay, we take the, 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 the placenta with us, okay? We can elevate her, right? And get her to the hospital. She's going to need some more care in there. Now, with the placenta, you notice the piece is missing. What does that mean? Where's the other piece? So it's still inside. Why is that a problem? Because it attached to her. I mean, it, it ripped off. It ripped off. So a piece of the, the placenta is still inside the uterus. She's still bleeding inside. All right. She needs surgery. All right. So we get over there. So from this point on, supportive care to both mom and the, and the baby. Now we got two patients, all right? Don't forget mom, don't neglect the baby. The APGAR, within one minute, we want to determine what her APGAR score is, okay? And then after that, we want to reassess after five minutes. And that's how we gauge.